During this new season of stewardship at St. Mary's, we've heard three awesome testimonials on giving. Recently, we sat down with Maureen Cotter for our final testimonial to ask her how she and her husband, Tim, have experienced a resurrection in their giving during this new season at St. Mary's. We've really been inspired by the people who have stepped forward and made contributions while they're still living to the Heritage Fund. And Tim and I have made the decision that this year, even though we've already had provision for St. Mary's in our will, we're gonna start making some contributions to the Heritage Fund now so that we can see how our investment is being used and we can experience the joy. So, you know, we give for a couple of reasons. One, obviously, is to support the mission statement of St. Mary's growing into Jesus, reaching out with love. All of the outreach ministries are such an important reason of why we give. But I will also tell you there's a pretty selfish reason for why I give to St. Mary's. And that is because I can't live my best life without this church. I tried. I mean, I tried for a lot of years to live what I thought was my best life. And truth be known, Tim and I did not attend church for most of our married life, even though we were both raised in the church. But once I started attending St. Mary's and I went from just occasionally experiencing God to encountering God through this church and through the various ministries in which I participated, um, I, I felt like I was having an encounter like Moses had at the burning bush. It changed me. It changed my outlook on life. It changed my outlook on the daily choices that I want to make in how I live my life. And it's changed how we view our bag of donuts. We asked Maureen if she had any advice for parishioners who haven't filled out a 2024 pledge card. It's to find a word of scripture that guides this year for you. And there's one that has really been very important for me this year, Barry. I'm going to read it to you if that's okay. Galatians 2.20, and I happen to love the Life Application Bible as one of the Bibles I read every day, and the translation says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And the real life, I'm going to underline emphasis, real life, I now have within this body is a result of my trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So that piece of scripture is one that I have prayed on and reflected on almost every day for the past several months. We are praying to be more generous and trusting of God's provisions for us and our family and for St. Mary's as a church family. And you should know that every dollar you give to St. Mary's goes to the changing of lives and the building of God's kingdom, the changing of lives. And one of those lives might just be your own. Please consider increasing your pledge gift in this new season of stewardship at St. Mary's.